All right. Down here at a flooded dam tonight, catfish fishing. I'm using raw chicken for now. Looks like I got a little guy. Should be all channel cats in this river. It'd be a little tough to land them because I forgot my net. This current's pretty bad. So I'll just take them around back here outside the current in the little eddy. Awesome. It's a pretty fast first hit. They could be stacked up here. This is like the one slack water outside of the, the raging current because everything's so flooded. A nice little channel cat. Probably 22, 23 incher. Skinny. A few pounds. Alright, got you guys a little extra light. Finally, this guy's been nipping at it for like an hour. Lost a lot of bait to whatever this is <laughs> in the back pool. I got two rods out now. This is just a lighter rod um, with eight pound test. The reason I like to use, uh, use chicken here is I've tried almost every catfish bait, you know, for every common channel catfish bait and in this pool at least, the chicken seems to do the best by far. Yeah, it's just a little channel cat looks like, really little guy. I thought it was a turtle for a while. It's weird that, you know, this is like the only pool where I, I do really well with chicken, is at this dam. This guy's around the same size as the last one, maybe. Maybe just a little bit smaller, right around the same size. A little chunkier, though. All right, I'll just use this light for this one, because I didn't even know he was on. He was just sitting in the current with the bait. Feels a little better. A little bit. Weird. I was just packing up. This drag's a little sticky. Oh. Yeah, this is a little better one. Probably more like average sized. I'm surprised I'm getting so many small ones tonight. Man, he is tugging hard. I love the, the fight a catfish puts up, man. It's up there with smallies, for sure. But they're usually a lot heavier, so put up a darn good fight. Just going in circles here. You know, when the river's flooded like this, a lot of things that, places where they don't normally stack up, they suddenly do, because they're new pools with, with slack water where they can get out of the current. Yeah, this one's a little better. Feels a lot bigger in that current, but still a decent one. I can get him out of the rock here. All right, get him by that. <laughs> I got him. There we go. Yeah, more like 26 or so. We'll get a measurement on him. Right around average average size for here. The bait station. Yeah, 27 and a quarter. Nice decent channel cat. Awesome. Pop them off and let them go. Starting to heat up again. Had like a dead hour. Now I got one in the big pool out front, or bigger. It's like 30 by 20 feet. It's 
drag so sticky though. Really annoying. Oh man, this guy's really dogging it. Hoping for a nice big one tonight. That'd be awesome. You know, double digits pounds and over 30 inches. That's always what I'm hoping for. The average when you get down here is like 26 maybe. Everything's so flooded tonight though that the current's a little harder, so it's making it they're they have a lot of advantage on me. So they can they can use that current. That one looks decent for sure. Looks at least as big as the last one. I think my headlamp is dying, so hopefully you can see this okay. Yeah, that one looks at least as big. I'd say. Straddle them here for a second. Everything's so slippery. This place is really slimy. Shoot, 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 shoot. It's back in the water. All right, here we go. Turn the lantern on here. There we go. It's tough down here. Tough spot. It looks at least as big, maybe right around the same size. Yeah, he's not that big. It's a little bigger in the water. <laughs> 27 and a half, I'd say. Nice solid channel cat. Maybe just a hair above average, but skinny. Alright, I'm going to use this chest light because I think my headlight's running out. Got a smaller guy on here, I think on the light pole from the back pool it's like they moved in all of a sudden sometimes they school up and push through an area I know that I used to used to happen to me years ago I used to get a lot of that yeah another smaller guy try and beach him here there we go awesome gotcha There he is, real skinny, probably around 20 incher, small guy. Well, I tossed on a night crawler just to see what happens. <laughs> Got something spooling me here. Cool. It's always a good thing. <laughs> he had to take the 8 pound test rig of course. Whatever, I'll take a challenge, I guess. You gotta pull him upstream. He feels heavy. Uh, -uh I don't plan on losing you. Uh, except for he's in some junk. Shoot. I feel it. Just feel it on the line, you know? When it's just sawing on something, it's easy to feel on a rod like this. Oh, yeah. He's got a little weight to him. I don't know how big he is, but he's not one of those tiny catfish like earlier. I would I would guess. Could be a decent one. Could be a big one. I don't know. Could also be a different type of fish. That's why I figured I'd try a night crawler. Could be walleye here. I'm sure there's walleye here, but maybe not in this pool, might be in another pool. They spread out and move around. I kind of like fishing in this pool when, when it's flooded just because it's the only time you catch fish in it just because it's a foot higher, the water, it makes it like two or two and a half feet deep. You know, when it's summer level, it's like a foot at best and there's not usually fish in it. So it's just kind of fun to see the, 
see the fish moving around like that. I'm gaining on him. Got him in the slack water now. He's not as heavy. He's still taking some drag. Yeah, he's fighting like a cat. I think. Could be a walleye, but I'm guessing cat. Head shaking a lot. Stand down. Um, all I've been doing all night tonight is just free lining. No weights, no nothing, because there's so many crazy snags here. Um, I'm just making short casts anyway. I think the farthest I've casted so far tonight is like 20 feet. So, just lobbing a bait out on a, on a hook, on a free line, every time. Oh man. Now there's not usually this many cats stacked up here. This is a really small pool. Both of the pools I'm fishing are really small. It's getting close here. Yeah, he looks like a cat. Not a monster though. Just another decent-ish one. Right around average size probably. Deceivingly hard how how much they fight, you know. I'll take them over to the lantern. Seemed a lot bigger. <laughs> That's the power of a cat and and current going away from you, I guess. So he's just like a two-footer. Yeah, it's a hair over 24. Just a small guy, surprisingly. Just packing up again for good this time, and this guy hit right when I was about to pull the bait out of the water. So this will probably be the last one. I don't feel like rebaiting and can keep him going. Really annoying to film in the dark. So I'm tired, and I got to juggle two lights and a a camera and a fish all at once while trying to balance on these rocks and, and this little island I'm on and all that stuff. It's difficult worrying about getting a video is half the half the battle and getting the fish is the other half. It's always tough. This guy's doing the same thing as the last one but on this lighter rig so he could be another small guy. This is on a piece of raw chicken by the way. The only one with the night crawler was the last one. Oh man. Cool. Could probably keep doing this all night. New ones will move in every hour or whatever, a couple new ones. But feel like going home getting some sleep, I guess. It doesn't feel like a monster, but he's taking a lot of drag. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, I normally don't get more than three down here, but with how high the water is, I guess they're just moving around a lot, restacking up in these slack waters. Trying to get a look at him. Feisty man. Feisty channel cats. Nope, there's 
another one. Another channel cat. Probably around 25, right around there. All right, free lining some crayfish today off this wall here. Just cleaning up my tackle box while I do it. So I figured why not try, you know. Just a baby. Really simple, just just a hook on my line with a crayfish or a nightcrawler on it. Usually tail hooking them. Here's a nice smallie, I guess. Decent. Yeah, 15, 16, a little bit of a gut. Alright, there's another one on the crayfish. Not getting much action on Nightcrawler. Sometimes these unique baits, if you go and catch them and bring them to another place, it's a lot more effort than most people are willing to put in. So it has good results. You know these bass are small. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of little guys stacked up. Taking a little drag, eh? Cool. Uh, sometimes when the water stays low for a while, you get a lot of small bass stacked up on the structure. Yeah, a whole bunch of bass under 18. Not exactly a lifter. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a 16 or so on the crayfish again. This guy feels really small. Bunch of little smallies stacked up in the shadow on the structure. Oh, maybe not really. Yeah, he's pretty small. Yeah. Sometimes they start dogging it. Right in the middle of the fight, feel a little heavier, and then towards the end they give up. Right around 12. It's a baby. guy took a big crayfish. Feels a little better. I'd say mad toms, helgramites, and crayfish, especially soft shell crayfish, are uh, my top three smallmouth baits, especially for a river system. This looks like a bullhead. Cool. <laughs> hoping for a little bit of variety. Sometimes panfish stack up here and other things. Sometimes I get perch off this wall and big rock bass. Yeah, it's like a 15 incher. A bit of a gut. It's just a little guy. I'm still waiting to find a panfish here, like a perch or something. Sometimes they stack right up in the shadow on the structure too. Good staging spot. Feels kind of heavy ish though, probably a little bass. Yeah, just a baby smallie. Lift him up here. It's 
still pretty fast action. A lot of little guys stacked up in the shadow here. Just about out of crayfish too. Have to go get some more. Feels like a smallie. I'm guessing. Yep. Another bass. Just chunky little guys. Not a big one though, but not a tiny one either, I guess. A little deeper under there. Just kind of keep the rod low so I don't cut it on the metal. The bridge. Stand down. Oh, there we go. Starting to lift him up. Yeah, another little smally. Sweet. I try the other side for a couple minutes. Another little smally. Thinned out those those bass pretty good, so I figure I'd come down to a dam and give some catfish in a shot. I got chicken on one pole and a night crawler on this pole in the back pool. I'm on a little island and it's like a bluegill picked it up in the middle of the night on the night crawler. There's a catfish finally on the raw chicken. Feels like it at least. A little cat, I'm guessing. Got him in the shallow back pool. And that took a while, that took hours. Could probably lift this guy even. It's only a few pounds probably. Yeah. Cool. Little channel cat. Maybe 21 inches or so. Real small guy. Alright. Had this rod sitting out like an hour at least, and then suddenly goes taking something, starts taking drag with it. This is the lighter line rod. Just before sunrise, I kind of set up the chicken so it's in the. There's this little shallow pool behind this island I'm on. I'll try and explain it, but and then there's these rapids going right next to the island. And usually I set the chicken in the pool itself, or right on the edge of the rapids, but I tried to cast it in the rapids this time so the scent would carry way the heck downstream, even though the rapids are like a foot deep at best, maybe even more shallow. And I don't know, that might have had an effect, I guess. I might have called one up from the next pool down, which is like a good 200 feet down. He's taking some drag. Doesn't feel tiny. It's hard to tell though with all this current. Could be small. We'll see. Hopefully. A lot of mist. I've been getting really cold all night. 
I probably would have went home already, but there was a bunch of sketchy stuff going on on the on the hiking trail in. I saw all sorts of little flickers and whatever, people walking around at 2 a.m. doing shady things, so I figured I'd just stay here and freeze to death instead of getting murdered. Ah. He's got a little weight to him, I think. He's in the slack water now, but still a little bit heavy. Lighter though, but not as heavy, but doesn't feel as, feels a little bigger than the last one, I'm guessing. It's always a good thing. taking a lot of runs. Just gotta make sure he doesn't cut me off. I should be good on these rocks, you know, because it's quite shallow. You know, anytime you get a hard fighting fish on, all they gotta do is find the right edge and we'll slice it right off with all the tension. Oh, oh baby. He's in the slack water, still has a little weight to him. Awesome. Taking quite a few runs, man. Wow. better sized not a big one but more like your average channel cat for around here man he just won't <laughs> won't come in all the way awesome gotcha just gotta not slip here oh yeah there's a catfish Take them over to the tape measure, the bait station. He's got a little weight to him, seven, eight pounds, something like that, I would guess. Whoa, 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 buddy. Let's see, how long is he? Not a big one, but maybe average or a hair above average probably right around at yeah 28 yeah a little above average awesome <laughs> 